Put the clan hood on. Just see what it feels like. Mm. Yell nigger at the mirror filter a few times. Everyone would salute. Through those eye holes. Throw up that salute. No, no, no. All right, so Fresh and Fit are back at it again um, in the news for hating on black women. I mean, what's new? Is this shocker? I hope you believe that black man with that MAGA hat on. <laughs> but, but why are you yeah, calling fresh. him by his race? Because that's what I'm, I'm calling people black and Actually, white. Simple. Why? It's not about I'm being not racist. Black. Just you know the way I, I say it, it Hold makes y'all feel like why I'm being racist. Color? And if you look up the last name McKenzie, you know you'll know I'm Scottish on. Irish. So I have white in my Hold fucking blood. On. I can't be racist towards you. I be racist towards my own people who I just told you earlier. Oh, slaves. I'm a McKenzie, dumbass. You just said you can be racist. My cousin was married to the first prime minister of the Bahamas, Sir Lyndon Penland. She was a McKenzie. You're talking to royalty. So you can't make Make me out to be something I don't give a fuck about being ass when this world is already set against us something? as black people in but general. I don't care. Y'all just said it about Kamala. I ain't gonna lie. I need a little bit more context as to what's happening here because this is just a fucking lot. She's like, saying a whole lot of nothing. Too. Like she's not royalty. Lie. She's Irish. What, what's someone Prime says? They're, what's, someone, what's anyone tells me they're royalty? I'm just like yeah. out of combo. And if you're royalty, I'm, I'm being biased right now. But if you're royalty. Shouldn't be why, on fresh and fit. Yeah, thank you. Right. <laughs> why are you like, on why fresh the fuck fit? are you on fresh and fit? Fresh and fit. Um, let me make it clear. This, all these clips started coming out because of a very specific thing that happened. Um, she ended up getting into a fight with a couple of Myron's um, employees on the show. So people are trying to see what was the build up to this. And this is the closest thing that we got. Uh, let me continue. Uh, the second, but you're saying no. Y'all are contradicting, contradicting yourself constantly. How am I contradicting myself? But I'm myself? the dumb one. Bro. Whatever. Bro. Statistically, universities cool. are accept their acceptance rate is higher for Good diversity. Good for you. Because you're going to fucking the Air uh, Force, you, so you, you don't know, have to do rates. that, right? You're taking the easy way out. I'm like not most taking. Of these I'm literally giving well, look, you the facts, I, I, so it, somebody can tell your bitch ass what to do. Because you're an employee, bitch. I'm a boss. All right. What do you think so far before I get into the rest of this? She's not coming off very likable, so I don't know. But I mean, it's just, it's a fresh and fit episode. Like, this is what you expect, yeah, right? Yeah, one minute out of context, too. You never know. She yeah. could have came in. Yeah, they you know, could have been polite. hostile to her. I didn't see the whole context, to be fair. Yeah. Right. But I'm just, you know, I'm not really into what, she, what anything she's saying. Yeah, but that sets the scene for the hostility. Like, you can already tell the environment in the air is one of everything ain't going to go as smoothly, smoothly as it should have gone. And this is going to be a typical... Uh, clip for me moment where we kick out disgruntled chick for being fucking annoying like that's what it's gearing up to and that's clearly how what happened how it often does on fresh and fit yeah so there was an a after that um myron and her get into an argument and there, here's what happened what are you talking about oh, oh, God. Hey, hey, oh, God. God. Ah! bro I have three shots of me saying that no, she's ugly as fuck, man. You know what? I'm not buying you, but you're ugly. You look like shit. Thank you. Your mom does too. And everything you're saying to me will bounce off of me and stick right back to you. And that bitch that you're fucking on. Thank you. You just transferred your energy and gave me all your money. Thank you. I declare and I decree that. This show is going to be in the fucking bitch. Just like you and your bitch. How about that? Do it. Do it. Get the fuck out of here. Florida. This Florida. You stupid nigger at being. This Florida. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. This is Florida. It's like how he unironically talks to people. This isn't even on on camera, on well, on their podcast camera anymore. This is like behind the scenes yeah. footage of him that's having this a is genuine his interaction. Yeah. That's like his natural reaction to. Yeah, he's in his element. People. You heard what he said, right? At the yeah. end, he dropped a hard ER. Yeah, on her. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then I, I don't know. I guess from my perspective, at what point in time do we say, "Hey, you talk about being this alpha male and how um, a high value man is this and that." Why are you always reacting with this high level emotion, especially specifically towards women? Yeah, it's like he's always getting angry and yelling. Maybe he's not yelling at the top of his lungs, but you're going, you're having an arguing match with a woman. And like, he only has his energy for good. women. He never does. I don't think I've ever seen him yell at a man like this. Uh, like, has he yelled at men like like scream at them like this, like yeah. in person? Maybe. I'll, I'll oh, shoot him some bail when. Um, and this was years ago. This was years ago. But when some guy came to his apartment, like while they were recording, okay, yeah, he still was going to shoot him. him. But yeah. That, yeah, that dude was ready to fight him, though. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So I, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm just giving credit that's where credit is due. He has had that energy. I just don't think, as someone who 
claims to be an alpha male, you should be arguing with women. I just don't think that's something that makes any sense. Yeah, he just um, does it so often. Like he just explodes on a girl. Well, he get he first off they select random. He's on the, he's not selecting the girls on his podcast, but they're the people who get talent select mm-hmm. them just a random assortment of women, and they just are ready to just call them stupid if they don't agree with them for whatever. Yeah, and, yeah, and they and antagonize they them, do, and yeah, even when they do, he doesn't look too amused. Um, I'm not gonna post a clip. Aren't you used to it at this point too? Like it's like, all right. yeah, that's another thing. You should know this is gonna happen. Like this is kind of the objective mm-hmm. you want. I highly doubt he wants a, a podcast where every woman's just sitting there agreeing with everything you say. That's fucking boring. Yeah, they, they, like, they you live want for this. this reaction. They you're getting this. it. That's why they have the. That's why they have these behind the scenes cameras. I imagine they film, yeah. they're filming all of this. But let's continue. I'm not even gonna really touch into the whole hard ER thing right now. We can get to that later. I'm sorry. I got to get really into this uh, real quick. I don't really like how. He uses the fact that he lives in Florida as a means to say, hey, I will kill you. Again, you are arguing with a woman. If you have to use that much force against a woman, what the fuck does that say about you? Yeah. You're not talking about dudes. If he was talking to another dude like this, I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. She's a fucking woman. She probably weighs no more than 160 at the max. Yeah, I don't, I don't you know. You fucking crazy? You can't handle this shit yourself without a gun? I don't get it, yeah. It's just it's him going, going on 100 right away. I guess maybe she was saying some threats back, and he was like, all right, if we're going there, then. So what? Yeah, it's like, come on, bro. Like, so what? Like, you know she's not going to do that. Like, yeah. stop it. She, oh, my God. That's just I'm ridiculous. A, I must hate being there fucking. Whoever owns this property, <laughs> like, it's a building. They probably have to pay more. It's apartment building. Like, you got to br- deal with this shit all the regular. Like, oh, man. The influx of people coming in on a day-to-day basis, they're. Yelling and screaming. Remember when Ak was there last year? I'm the prize. Like, yeah, like yeah, damn. You got, if you're yeah, the, the building owner, I'm like, you got to pay more rent. Like, right? Yeah, y'all, y'all are bad business. Mm. Stand your fucking Where's ground. This is for my Uber. You ain't getting reimbursed. Shit, get the fuck up out of here, yeah, bitch. That's the you whole fucking broke you. Fuck you. Yeah, dude. fuck you, bitch. That's fine. I'm not you a broke. You fucking dude. fat. Yeah, you man, look dude. like shit. Thank your hair's you. a wig. Your stomach my is jiggling. You look like fucking shit. You're literally your underwear is showing, and your stomach is hanging. Look at this disgusting. Hair, look at this disgusting. Hair. When y'all disgusting. come to these podcasts, just know that these people right here are going to make y'all feel like y'all ain't shit. They want to try to demean y'all to take your energy. You're wearing a wig. Take their mother. You're I'm wearing, wearing a wig, braids. bitch. He's dumb as fuck. I have braids in my hair, and this ignorant nigga who looks black and wants to be a nigga till it's time to be one doesn't even know what braids are. Yeah. He doesn't even know who he's talking to. We finna put you motherfuckers on the motherfucking internet. You bitches won't have no motherfucking job after me, nigga. You ain't gonna sue shit. Shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. This is Florida. Okay. Do do you know the laws in Florida? This is. Do you know the laws? This ain't Texas, bitch. You stupid fucking retard. You don't know the law. This is stand your ground state. Okay, yeah, you no stupid problem. bitch, you're so this dumb. No, 67 women. IQ. This she is dumb, though. Get the women. fuck up out of here. Oh, I love you, though. No, I love you, bro. This is a racist. This is a racist. This same nigga that came at Asian dog. I love me. Nigga, I'm finna get them hitters from Dallas to do it. your bitch. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. worry. Do it. Oh, this is the same nigga that came from Asian. Do it. Do it. Get the fuck up out of here, bitch. All right, here's the part that really bothers me. When she said this is the same dude that came for Asian Doll, I was like, oh, so you know about this already. You know about this podcast. You know what he does. Oh, you yeah. know the type of energy he brings. And she, you knew, still she knew exactly what she was getting into when she came on the podcast. Yeah, 100%. It's not like, it's not like women haven't heard of this podcast no. at this point. And I think that's what disappoints me because uh, I, she posted screenshots of conversations she had that led up to her getting on the show. And how um, one of the women had hit her up and said, hey, like, would you, because she's a music um, artist. It was like, hey, would you like to be on a podcast next to um, Nicki Minaj's ex-boyfriend, Safari? And she was, like, really excited about it. And then they um, directed her to talk to the producer of the show, that Chris guy. Um, and I'm like, yo, it's very clear you are aware of how this show operates. And you were willing to say my career is more important than my self-respect. But now you want to get on the phone and play the fucking victim. And I'm not mm-hmm. with that shit. I, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. I'm not fucking with that shit. Like, I, I feel bad that she was called a hard ER. And I feel bad for everything else that's about to ensue in this video. But at the same time, like, you do have to take some fucking accountability and say, yo, I was dumb as fuck for going on this show knowing how they speak to black women. Yeah. There's been... Too many videos. I remember the video of him saying, we don't dabble in the dark. We don't date creatures of the night. 
every Twitter interaction yeah, calling yeah. Up someone a monkey. Him hanging guard. out with all the white supremacists. White supremacists. Remember, Nick Fuentes remember he was and beefing that. with Abba and preaching he put the KKK out of Cody on? Yeah, and he put yeah. it Yeah, and then he acted like gorilla for, for trying to be like preach. Yeah. yeah, or I think we reacted to them uh, two or three weeks ago when they said um, black people aren't getting reparations. and yeah. Like, bro, there's too many. There's, there's a large sample size of content for you to make a cohesive decision and say, yo, you know what? This ain't for me. Like, I, I want my career to blow up, but not in this way. Um, so at some point in time, you got to take accountability. That's like me going to the fucking ass crack of the South in a sundown town and being surprised of all the creative ways they just called me a slur. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it goes both ways. So you got to know what, what you're getting yourself exactly. into, and you should know better at the same time. Yeah, like it, what they're doing is not. Um, we're not condoning what they're doing, but at the same time, it is your fault for going there at this point. Yeah. You knew. She, she probably knew. went on note, like thinking like, oh, I'm about to I'm about to start, you know, making these guys look stupid and she thought she was gonna talk her shit. But how? She how might and she might have even I didn't watch the episode. She, she might even got off on it, but yeah, it didn't work out. Risk versus reward. The reward wasn't as worth the risk. Um there's so many things that it's just not worth it, man. I, especially if, if you're a black person here, specifically a black woman, your safety is in danger here. He's making it very fucking clear. This dude is letting you know, yo, we're in Florida. Stand your ground. Like, yeah, he's ready to kill you. Like, Yeah, like you, I get it. You look at him as he's black, but he does not view himself as black. He's even been on a podcast talking to other white guys. He was like, yeah, white guys like us, basically. Um, yeah. He did not say it in those exact words. Say it like that. But like, bro, you got to take that fucking seriously and say, yo, I ain't going to lie. Like, you one of them boys. I can't risk my life here in a state where you can just legally shoot me. If I'm yelling at you, like, cause he could have shot her. Let's continue. You are so lame. Your mama, you You're bitch. fat. You're Your fat. Mama, You're nigga. fat. You're fat. Hey. Yo. Bro, what the fuck? What are you talking about, yo, yo, yo. 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 Bro, holy shit, man. Yo, you gotta chill, man. Yo. See? Oh, see? And here's and the thing. thing. Here's the thing. They can fuck you up. This yo. is Florida. Yo. You dumb no, bitch. bitch. They can literally fuck your ass up, but I'm gonna take them out. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, I'm gonna take get a purse, man. Let go. Get a purse. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Take a purse, bro. Yo, take a purse. Chill. Yo, take a purse. Take my Yo, purse. Yo, take a purse, bro. You gonna take my fucking purse? You think you gonna take my fucking purse? Take a purse. Give me my fucking phone and get the fuck up off of me. Yo, get the fuck up. No, 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 you're tripping, bro. Get the fuck off me. Give her a phone. That's not my phone. My phone's over here. My phone has a blue bag. We'll get it. We'll get it. Bible verses. Something you bitches don't know about. Okay. All right. Give a fuck about that. I'm scared because I... It, hello. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. All right, go on. Fucking sick of you bitches. Y'all want to fucking fight? All right, go ahead. Okay. You want to fucking fight? I wish I had my blithy on me, bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, wish. You got to You got to Fuck off of me, nigga. Let me go I, I literally just saved you. I literally, literally just saved you. Shit, bitch. I literally just saved you. I was about to beat these hoes up. <laughs> I've been waiting okay. to fuck somebody up. Yo, I literally just saved your you life, You ain't say shit. I just literally saved your life. And I wasn't trying to hit you. I wasn't trying to hit you. No, no, I wasn't trying to hit you. I wasn't trying to hit you. I didn't hit you at all, though. Listen. No, 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 fuck. I got good. I'm cool, crazy. You sure? I got it. Hey. This is just a sad thing to see. I, I don't I don't like seeing this at all. I don't like seeing a bunch of women get into fights for no fucking reason that are this this is just Yeah, I'm not even sure how the fight started. I couldn't see from that angle exactly what Yeah, I'm not sure who threw the first punch. Yeah. So, I don't know. It sounds like they were trying to like force her in the elevator and she got hands in her face and maybe she just like snapped yeah, and pushed through, but it's hard to tell who shot for I'm not shot first, sorry. Who threw the first swing, but again, like I said, like earlier, you're in a state where it's a stand your ground state and someone's making it very clear. Yo, I'll shoot you. You Got to know the situation you're in and say, you know what? I'm about to just tap out respectfully. I'm going. Like, you look fucking crazy arguing with these motherfuckers because now they're using you for content. Now everything they have, they're repurposing for content. Granted, they can't make any fucking money off this shit. <laughs> um, being demonetized off of every platform, but content is still content. Their name is still getting out there, and they can still figure out an avenue to make money on the back end. Um, I, I don't know if they have a Patreon or whatever, but you know what I mean. Like, there's other avenues to make this type of money. Yeah. Um, and it just drives more people to their channel. This is just a bad decision uh, across the board. So. Yeah, I, don't, I have nothing else to say about. Yeah, 
But it, it gets worse. Uh, Myron, you know, has relatively nothing else to fucking do all day. So he's usually on Twitter spaces or on Twitter just saying a bunch of bullshit. And someone didn't take too kindly to this video and how he treated that young lady. So here's what they have to say. I've seen your little shit on uh, Instagram and all this other stuff. One thing I don't do, Myron, I don't play, bruh. You don't know me. I don't know you. I came. Of I course, came here comes the, the violence. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Myron. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yes. on motherfucker. Here we hold go. On. No, hold on. No, we ain't going no fucking well. Here I comes listen, the watermelon I did, listen, warrior. Listen, dude, I did time. Oh, of I did, course. I co I co of course you did time, you watermelon warrior. Prove all the stereotypes right. Immediately escalating to violence. You stupid nig. Literally, bro, you can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit up. I did time in prison. Like, that's a fucking flex, bro. Show me respect. I was in time. I did jail. We was kings. You trying to skip me, Myron? Uh, Black Mark, you weren't being called on, bro, so shut up. Hey, fuck you. You fucking dumb nig. Like, bro, look, look at you, man. You, you're literally behaving like a fucking monkey right now, right? Literally didn't call on you. There's a fucking order here. This isn't the fucking wild jungle, you fucking donkey. I'm a, uh, I'm a white civil rights lawyer that spent the last... 10 years congratulations you're probably also a jew shut the fuck up faggot the fuck man i'm a white civil rights lawyer and i gotta say something here fuck you fuck you do i look like a fucking bar exam motherfucker yeah i don't get it at this point man like i said i i get it this is who he is as a person i just don't understand so where it's coming from. It's like getting magnified times a hundred. I don't know why, what caused it. Maybe he feels like he needs to get more engagement by being this, like, wild. Because he wasn't always this no. on a hundred. This is, like, escalated and escalated. You Maybe he, hanging out with Nick Fuentes, hanging out mm -hmm. with, like, right, alt-right people on Twitter. It's uh, possible. I think getting on... You know what it is? Is uh, Twitter unbanning all these people. Ever since Elon got in and they're just allowing anyone to just have, to be on Twitter with saying whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. Like, but yeah, a lot of these people, though, like, some Myron would have been banned on Twitter pre-Elon. Yeah, but he kind of banned them in a way. Like, they're not banned from the platform, but he demonetized them. On Twitter? Yeah, yeah. he can't make money on Twitter either. I mean, Twitter, that was the craziest one. Twitter monetization is, like, not really important. Anymore. Yeah, but when you get He's still verified on Twitter. He's still... When you're getting demonetized off of everything, and yeah, you're true. making money, and this was... a rage bait was his way of making money on Twitter, and Twitter said, enough of this bullshit? Mm -hmm. That's like, oh, fuck. Like, that's another platform, another one bites the dust situation. Yeah, Does just, his hatred for black people have anything to do, and obviously I don't have the data on this, but it's safe to assume that maybe black Twitter had a high response in his sort of demonetization. Do you think it has anything to do with that? Like maybe um, he just has a general disgust I with think black so. people I, that? I think so. If Yeah, if clearly if all the people you're siding, your community reflects you, and if all the people that are like on your side are like the worst people on earth, like white yeah. supremacists and fucking other racists and Trump, uh, all the Trump people he's surrounding himself with. If you're surrounding yourself in that environment and you're, you're just against anti wokeness, you're going to find yourself just going in the extremes and just, you know, I can, so I see what you're saying where it's like yeah. being against, I'm just trying Twitter. to figure it out. Like, I'm yeah, just trying to be part of it. Yeah. Like you said, it was like, it was so, it's just so aggressive now. It's like, yeah, that, really leaning. That's why you get deplatformed off everywhere. They're not on YouTube. Uh, they're not on YouTube anymore. Right? They're, uh, they're are, but they can't make money. They can't make money on YouTube. They're, yeah. They're mainly on like rumble and kick and stuff. So, they're not yeah, on kick. Never mind. Yeah. So they're struggling. Yeah. So, so yeah, when you're doing this and then, you know, this is, this is the result of the corner you push yourself in. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, like we've seen the videos in the past, like it sucks that he's doing all this and like white supremacists have made it very clear. Like, Hey, we don't fuck with you either, buddy. Like, yeah. You remember that video, right? Yeah. Where that guy called him a You're not on our team. Like, yeah. He said something like that. And yeah, he called him so, a So, it, 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 I don't know, man. But I I hope this is a real hard lesson to any black person, specifically black women, that are looking to go on the show. Mm -hmm. Don't go on the show. Because yeah. at this point, if you go on this show, this is your fucking fault. Whatever happens there is your fucking fault and your fucking yeah. fault alone. You and know what's going to happen. You've seen the content. Make the logical decision to say this is not the podcast I want my name attached to. Yeah, and the, and the crazy thing is they could have been like a successful podcast if they didn't go so extreme. They could have been yeah. like they, they first off they did have a ton of success at one point on YouTube, yeah. and then they kept going more and more extreme. But if you look at like all these dating shows and everything else that's popping off, they could have been there. You're in the dating like red pills type of space anyway. That there's the there's still. 
I mean, that's dying down a little bit, but you still could have had that whole market to yourself and been yeah. like the main. But it's his there. fault. But you just had to go so fucking extreme. They were having good big big people guests on their platforms too. At one point, yeah, they lost all that. They don't have any. They don't never get any good guests. Because Myron keeps leaning in, and yeah, leaning like, in on it. You know what's interesting to me, and this is so fucking random, but I just I'm just so curious. Academics fucks with them heavy. How do you, as a black man, sit there and be like, "Yo, I'm cool as you calling." Black people hard ER and saying all these watermelon monkey blah 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 blah. Yeah. I'm like yo, like what the fuck? Like, and, and has academics been on in a while? I don't, I don't no, know. No, we still fuck with them. Yeah. So it's like, at what point do you be like, hey, yo, you're wilding? Like you talking to them like that? Like I'm still black too. Like, because what is he gonna say? Oh, nah, you one of the good ones? That don't sound good either. Yeah. That don't sound good. Like no one likes to hear that when someone's saying some racist shit. Nah, nah, nah. You one of the good ones. Yeah. The fuck. Yeah. Fuck you. But uh, let us know what you guys think, man. Do you think Myron's taking it too far or he's not taking it far enough? All right, guys. Bye.